Hello Taurus, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica and this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're jumping in here with the spirit of the animals and by the way we're covering approximately the next 30 days, money, career, love and any spirit messages that need to come through and we'll pick a couple money oracle cards at the end. You got Ram and Perseverance. All right, Taurus, Ram, Perseverance. If you like to look up animal totems, look up the Ram. You have many gifts no problem can withstand. The power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. So this is about putting one foot in front of the other. Keep going. You're moving. Keep yourself moving even if it's slow. Keep doing what you're doing one foot in front of the other, okay? You're going to reach your jet, your destination. <clears throat> and it says good luck will follow, okay? So I really love that. Good luck and relief, I'm feeling a sense of relief. So I have a lot of decks out here right now and I'm just going with my intuition for each sign as to which decks um, I'm going to use. So this is the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. What do we have for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So always check your other signs. There could be additional message messages in those readings. Yeah, we have rejoicing. So here's that relief, 26, which breaks down to eight. You have learned how to make the most out of life. Yeah, so making the most of what you got right now, one foot in front of the other. I keep saying that. Keep going and you will, you will end up rejoicing. You're gonna be glad you did this. And we have Earth shifts. Yeah, Taurus is an Earth sign in 72, which breaks down to nine. You are very connected to Mother Earth, and as such, you experience all that she does. Being in tune with nature, maybe needing to spend time in nature. I'm getting someone listening. You're noticing that you're very affected by dreary weather, like rain, wind, gray skies, um, and if so, think about what would make you feel better. First of all, recognize, hey, the, the weather is affecting me negatively when it's like this. It's okay to admit that, right? What would make you feel better? Um, turning on the lights inside, maybe getting um, one of those circadian lamps or those um, avian lamps, okay? That might help. Um, what would make things brighter and more cheery for you? I'm getting someone doesn't like driving in weather like that, but you may have to, like to get to work or whatever. But what can make you feel more cheery or help calm down the feelings that come along with uh, being affected by the weather? And remember, um, the weather can affect us in good ways too, right? It's just important to be in tune and be aware of how we are feeling. If you're having a really good weather day, uh, get out there, get the fresh air. Um, if you work in an office, I feel like someone listening, it's too easy to get sucked in in not stepping out of the office on your lunch break or dinner break or whatever it is. Do so. Um, get outside, take your lunch outside, or even go sit at a restaurant, like leave the office and go sit somewhere else, like have a change of scenery. Like, get in your car, go somewhere, okay? So even if you're not taking a walk or whatever, I think you should get out of your work environment on your lunch or dinner break. Creative projects and 22. It's time to get things done. Make your creative project, creative projects a priority now, okay? So if there's something creative you've been wanting to do, you've been putting it off, uh, maybe you're saying, <clears throat> well, I'm not making any money doing this. I shouldn't spend my time on this. Uh, you could make money doing it. Practice makes perfect. So I suggest that you um, definitely work on those creative projects. And at the least, it'll make you feel good. Make you feel like, um, you know, your quality of life is better. This is the Tarot of the Owls. Three of Pentacles, a collaboration, working together with a group with maybe two other people. Learn how to make the most out of life. Yeah, definitely a collaboration of some sort here. Could be in the workplace. Is someone training their child 
about their business, about your own business. Like you're training, you're, you're training them how to like walk in your footsteps and, um, Maybe they're interested in doing what you do and you're training them. We have the King of Cups. There could be a counselor or, sorry, my phone is, I forgot to turn the ringer off. Anyway, you could be a counselor or dealing with a counselor. Um, I feel like connecting with Mother Earth is going to feel you more emotionally connected to yourself. So like paying attention to the weather like I was talking about before how you're affected by the weather. Now, if you look ahead at the weather and you're like, oh no, it's gonna be rainy and cloudy tomorrow, I'm gonna to have a bad day, don't tell yourself that. Look at, look at it like, okay, well there's a heads up and if I don't feel the best, that's why, but it's gonna be okay. There will be you know, another sunny day or it could be metaphoric. If today wasn't really a happy day, there are other days and I'm gonna make the best of this. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you. Um, someone is admiring your work maybe someone out of the blue said Taurus I love what you do could you do that for me what do you charge and you're like I don't charge for this don't say that say let me think about that let me think about that I'm not sure I don't have a price right now but I will let you know okay because I feel like you could really make a business out of your creative projects all right let's get some clarifiers here I better turn that ringer down on my phone that was not pleasant <clears throat> okay so rejoicing you have learned to make the most out of life with the three of pentacles and the magician here we go this confirms that this there could be some gemini energy here too but this confirms like you have all the talents gifts and abilities to put together what you want to put together but working with some others i feel like you might be working with other talented people this might be like a parallel thing. You might be working like parallel to other creative people, but it supports you. You support each other because you're like-minded. Okay. <clears throat> we have the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or have strong Scorpio in your chart um, with the King of Cups here, another water, Cancer, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, it's definitely time to close the door on something of your emotional past. It's time to move on from something. Don't take it with you. It's time to resolve something or um, you decide for yourself. It might be something that has to do with another person, but whether or not they want to move forward with you, that's up to them, but you have to decide to put something in the past that has to do with your emotions. Because I feel like you're getting too passionate about something, Taurus, like you're getting too fired up about something um, that maybe once meant a lot to you. And you're spending too much time focusing on that now. Look out, buddy. No, 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 no. Come here, buddy cats on the table get back get back get back get back what's that what's that it's the king of wands okay so like i said yeah you're being like really passionate about something but the passion is like i want to say like getting out of hand you're becoming too emotionally upset about something that once meant a lot to you but it has evolved into something different it might be a friendship that faded out or a relationship that you've moved on from and I think you have to stop beating yourself up about connections with other people that didn't go well or go the way that you wanted them to. Okay, and then we, with a page of swords here, like I really feel strongly that like there are other connections in your life. Life goes on, there are new experiences to have. Um, there's new people it's just really important um, not to dwell on the past. Let's grab a couple of tea leaf cards. All right, what do we have for Taurus? There are a lot of new good things for you, Taurus. I think that the newness is that you're going to move forward without your baggage. There's something that you're already doing or something that's already a part of you that you're going to develop and carry forward into your future. But it's going to seem 
really, really new because you're letting go of baggage. Dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. It could be a man or a woman. I'm not attaching gender. We have the vine. Seek out information that will help you. Okay. And we have bow. You are highly thought of, which is what I brought up in this um, in this row here. Like someone is seeking you out or they notice something creative that you do and they want to purchase something from you. Or it could be... Um, you know, something you're skilled at, they want to pay you for your services. So I really like that a lot. That that reaffirms that. Let's get some money oracle cards here. What else for Taurus? Okay, we have recognition. There you go. See, there's that recognition again. You have to put yourself out there though, Taurus, okay? Does that mean something to you? If so, please comment below and Let's get some uh, dialogue going here between us. Your money is looking good and solid. Whatever you're working on now will win you the respect of others. You could earn a leadership position or get the recognition you deserve. That's awesome. Let's get one more. As always, only take what resonates. We have student. You could be learning something new or building on something that, that you already know or that you're already good at, expanding your skills. Work with a mentor to learn new skills or teach how to implement your plans. You could be in school to pursue a higher education or work for a school district. It says teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you. Okay, important messages here. Take what resonates and let's go to angel answers. If you have a question, you can reflect on it now, but you don't have to. Okay, Taurus, ask your angels. Yes, tune into your angels. And maybe being out in nature will calm you emotionally in every way. And it'll be easier to hear those angel messages. We have perfect timing. Yes, it is perfect timing for something. What was the first thing that popped to your head? Feel it, feel it in your heart. Is it perfect timing for that particular thing? Does it feel right? And we have be assertive. Okay, yeah. So go for it. If someone is offering you business, be assertive. Don't say, oh, I don't really do this for work. Say, hey, let me get back to you and I'll give you a price. Okay, and I love the key that she's holding. You have the key to success, to love, to fulfillment, to anything you want in life. Taurus. All right, Taurus, thank you for being here. Please hit that like button if this resonated. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do and hit all notifications. And my Patreon link is below for readings for members only. All right, thank you so much, Taurus. I will see you again soon.